Part 4. When you are allowed to fence. 1. You must be authorised in fencing to participate in any combat event. You need to be able to prove that you are authorised by presenting your current authorisation card or valid temporary paperwork. A picture or electronic copy is acceptable. 2. To be authorised, you have to pass a verbal and practical combat test to show that you a. Understand the rules b. Understand the requirements for your protective equipment and weapons and c. Can fight safely according to these rules. 3. If you are not authorised, you may only take part in practice sessions. This includes classes and practice combat to help you learn how to use all weapons. 4. Before you fight, you must get your equipment and weapons inspected by a marshal to make sure it complies with these rules. 5. You are not allowed to fence with impaired judgment, which includes a. Being impaired by an injury such as a concussion b. Being impaired by alcohol, prescription or over-the-counter medication or illegal or controlled substances. If you are too intoxicated or similarly impaired to drive, you are not fit to fight. 6. If you suffer an injury involving bleeding, you must leave the field immediately and may not return until the flow of blood has stopped. Weapons and equipment that have visible blood on them must be cleaned before further use. 7. You do not have to fight if you don't want to. You can refuse a challenge, decide to not take part in a bout, or decide to withdraw from a fight. If you are in a competition, that might result in you forfeiting the bout.